Hello guys, hope you are enjoying your weekend. Today I'm going to talk about S4 HANA Cloud 3 system landscape, how to set up a 3 system landscape in S4 HANA. So I'm just going to view uh, just nutshell of the S4 HANA Cloud and how uh, SAP uh, implementation uh, and activate uh, works with the S4 HANA Cloud. So let's start. We're going to use the implementation phases like prepare, explore, realize, and deploy. This uh, this is the overview of implementation of S4 HANA Cloud. So we drive and digital transformation with the simplicity of the cloud is uh, having the multi-segments here. It's associated with SAP S4 HANA Cloud, like uh, standardized, what we do with the standardized is the Fox scope solutions. What does Fox scope solutions mean is like you can just set up your Fox uh, solutions related uh, Fox build kind of things Fox build can be set up uh, and then you can just uh, uh, make it a continuous in in innovation in the site in the in the form of cycles regular upgrades dynamic extensibility and then uh, you can integrate it with the software as a service like success factors like native integration and flexible governance means like you uh, the SAP customer owns all the configuration and then the guided configuration is like with the best practices of the SAP. So uh, while implementing any SAP uh, uh, product, so customers does have a lot of questions, like nobody is going to move to a new business or new software for their business without having the questions. So what do we have the questions like customer does have a lot of questions everybody have the questions like i if i'm going to buy if i'm going to the market and i'm buying it for uh for new jeans pant or for my cap or and something like that i will have the questions of that like uh last time i went to the new york and just bought this cap so there was written something on like this the narrative that i asked the, the um um, I asked the shop owner, does this mean something like it's going to hurt people? So that's what actually is. He's the, he said, no, it's not going. So everybody has a question. So that's why SAP has the questions and uh, the questions have been, uh, you know, added to this uh, phase where you can see that how do I get started? What resources do I need to be successful? What is accountable for what deliverables? Who will do that what? So these are the questions actually for the customers and deployment of S4 HANA Cloud. So traditional ERP, uh, the design out to blueprint the traditional ERP uh, is like um, is, uh, where consultative approach, waterfall project methodology. So that's about the business uh, owners, the solution lead with standard best practices, agile, so this is, uh, you know, fit to standard transformative. This traditional ERP has now fit to transformative means it has transformation, transformative fit to standard, like business owners, the solution lead with the standard as best practices, agile, modular, scalable. So that is the innovation of the traditional ERP to the transformative. So this is the these are the phases: discover, prepare, explore, realize, and deploy and run. Actually, what it would do with the de discover, what it would do with the explore, or what it would do with the prepare. So these are like uh, these are the phases which actually we used to do, we used to have in the previous methodology of the implementation. But here you can see that uh, what 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 is there in the uh, you know what it, what it, what has been added and transformative, like as I said, fit to standard, startup and uh, enablement and value discovery, migrate and integrate extended test, onboard users and deploy, innovate, operate and support. And uh, this is about the, like um, the uh, implementation methodology, which is uh, transformative right uh, with the S4 HANA Cloud. So we can just uh, have the benefits of the SAP Fury application to help you to guide your SAP S4 HANA implementation project in the different ways, like uh, offers you a large number of accelerators to help you run your project as an efficient as possible. And also guides you the whole SAP S4 HANA life cycle. So I just want to focus here, like uh, this uh, uh, um, you know, um, slide, 
like uh, in what what it would do with they, this is the complete nutshell of our implementation the uh, discover the what we do with the discover is like go to the cloud trial and set up the cloud trial and then uh, we prepare for our project self assessment sort of um, uh, you know um, um, an implement and tool access sap cloud alm initial uh, success sap cbc initial access and then we have explore then what we do with the fit to standard analysis fit to standard documentation identify and the access management and then we have a realization phase execution monitoring of the project and then we have uh, deploy and uh, deploy is all about the system go live and then we have run release and upgrade cycle update cycles and operation going that's all that's for the run that we can say that the hyper tier and we can say that the go live when go live is uh, you know um successful in the deploy phase then what we do is we, cut, we do with the production cutover so so uh, after the production cutover the run phase it's kind of a 24 7 support we know that we use the different tools like um, uh, 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 sonar tools to ticketing tools maximo and uh, other some use the solution manager change management some use uh, itsm management from the solution manager for tickets incidents and changes or people use um, snow snow ticketing tool service now hp service manager these are the tools we uh, use to monitor in the run phase So uh, process navigator and implementation project is uh, all about to uh, check the uh, continuous in innovation kind of thing like uh, business scenarios and process were in description, solution uh, scenario documentation, solution process food, uh, flow diagrams will be given here. I just want to focus on the three system landscape. So you can go to the SAP Learning Hub and uh, just uh, choose the, your edition of the SAP Enterprise Support and see all of, all of these things. What do we have as a key implementation roles, project lead, business pro process expert, business administrator, a configuration expert, analytics expert. And we, we, we do have the migration, data migration facility and where we can use the data migration expert, testing expert, extensibly DE expert. And here we, here we just want to give the overview of the landscape. Like uh, what do we have? The landscape is the starter S400 HC deploy. It's uh, this kind of a, a sandbox system. And the tenant optional. And then we have development, test, and production. And the production system, you run your production system on S400 Cloud. The production system is the system in which your business will transact, plan, and run. And identity and uh, authentication service, IAS is identity and authentication service. I think uh, that's going to... Um, uh, be on uh, central business, uh, central uh, SAP business, central business configuration. So if we do with the identity management there. And uh, we can see that uh, comparison of the S4 HANA cloud system. What do we do? The starter system and the development system. What is the difference between the starter system and the development system? That's the totally different approach uh, as compared to the on premise. So we have, uh, we know that we have release uh, release uh, cycles where we just uh, release our uh, changes and maintain our changes in in the form of uh, three system landscape. So that's all about the release cycles, updates, and upgrades. Deploy with the app SAP Activate. So uh, where we can just um, you know use the uh, kind of um, this uh, milestones and uh, we can just um, you know just choose our three system landscape to uh, business central business configuration for the complete SAP ALM uh, cloud ALM uh, that is uh, like uh, lifecycle management. Application lifecycle management can be used. Fit to standard, you know, start a system in the system and a business process flows in different scripts and then steps before raising an incident. That's all about to fit to standard process. So you can see in the in the overview of the fit to standard execution. 
So you can see that how customer uh, is uh, in the execution of the standard scenarios, identify uh, required configuration, then review the best practices, demonstrate scope item and concepts. So what we can use the SAP migration cockpit, migrate data using staging tables, SAP Fury app, migrate your data, and then uh, you can use the AI API based uh, load based beta data load and then uh, you can just uh, get data select the migration objects and then map and transform your data model and design to reflect custom requirements simulate migrate that's what you can do with the migration object And then extensibility, extensibility snar, uh, options for the SAP S4HANA Cloud. What we have in the key uh, user extensibility, developer extensibility, side-by-side -side extensibility. These are all scenarios where we can use the use cases, personal and the benefit for uh, uh, extensibility options for the S4HANA Cloud. So guys, uh, actually, um, I have limited time, so I just wanted to give the overview of uh, the S4HANA, uh, S4HANA Cloud and um, how to set up a S4, uh, three system landscape on S4HANA uh, Cloud. So I think I'm done with this uh, nutshell. So this this was only a nutshell. So uh, I, I think um, I will create a, a I have to arrange a time to create more in the detail how to integrate the, all the scenarios, uh, run, prepare, deploy phases in the three system landscape and how to pass the changes in the three system landscape. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.